Well, Steam Locos in profile in the USA has been out for more than six months now. But did you ever wonder what went on behind the scenes of making it? Would you like an idea of what it's like to backpack around America for six months or so? Do you like cats? Well, you can find out all of these and much more in my diary, The Making of Steam Locos in Profile in the USA, now available to order in PDF ebook form. For 178 days, I travelled all over the USA from Portland, Maine to Portland, Oregon, gathering as many scenes as possible for the production of all 10 episodes of Slips in the USA. And paying tribute to Sir Michael Palin and his travel programmes, I kept a comprehensive behind-the-scenes diary as I went. Now I'm not certain at this point if there's going to be any other version, because a physical version would be too expensive to make, and an audiobook version would be very time-consuming and would be minus all the accompanying photographs. I felt that seeing as the world is going digital, a PDF version would be readable on most tablets, phones, laptops and desktops. But if you're not sure as to whether or not you'd like it, I'll read an extract from the opening and let you decide for yourself. This diary is a record of many highs and a few lows, of my travels, trials and adventures. There were dull moments, like hanging around a depot in Wyoming for days waiting for a locomotive to come out of its shed. There were hectic moments, like flight delays, frantic train chases and arriving at the wrong airport in Chicago. There were worrying moments, like ending up in hospital suffering from Covid and having to replace my main camera after just six weeks. And there were frustrating moments, like the Cumbras and Toltec Scenic Railroad postponing their opening day. But there were bucket list moments too, like seeing some of the largest working steam engines in the world, caboose hopping the Rio Grande narrow gauge, witnessing a reenactment of the Golden Spike ceremony, seeing the General and the Texas of the Great Locomotive Chase, attending a four-day steam festival of 1870s locomotives, riding the cab of a Norfolk and Western Streamliner, driving one of the most obscure narrow-gauge locomotives I've ever seen, recording music near Stevie Ray Vaughan's breakout venue, hiking the famous Mount Washington in New Hampshire, and befriending a huge variety of US rail fans. The Making of Steam Locos in Profile in the USA, now available in PDF ebook form from e-gmedia.co.uk forward slash shop. Also available on DVD, Blu-ray and digital download are the 10 episodes of Slips in the USA.